That's what I am. That's what I always be. I don't wanna be silent. 'Cause this is my destiny. Well, what can I tell you about myself? Well, first of all, I'm gonna represent Austria this year at Eurovision Song Contest. And I'm totally excited about that. And uh, well, I'm, I, I'm close to a nervous breakdown in the in the near future, I think. But I'm, I'm very excited, especially for me as a musician. It's a, a big honor to stand on the Eurovision stage. But I also got a very um, a very strong message for me, and it means just so so much to me to be able to talk to as many people possible. And this would be that. Um, I created this this bearded lady because of you know my my history in uh, being a teenager and 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 struggled with uh, discrimination and all that stuff and I really take the Eurovision stage also as an opportunity to talk to Europe about uh, tolerance and acceptance because I think it's so important especially nowadays and well you know my message is in the end of the day it's not about it's not about where you're from or, or the color of your skin or you know or the way you the way you look it's just about the person and this is why i created the the bearded lady to get attention to be able to talk to them and you know everybody should have the right to create their life however they want it and i decided to be well me a bit different why did the Austrian TV choose you to represent Austria oh that's a very good question um, I think because I became second uh, in 2012 with very you know this was very close to the first uh, to the winning uh, situation <coughs> And I think they they thought about taking me because you know the second from the last year is the winner of this year, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm I'm still in the middle of the song finding process and we got a few weeks left till the final decision and we have a pool of five top the top five songs and it's so hard for me because i love to sing ballads and i love to sing up tempo numbers so i should come to a decision i think but uh yeah i got a little time that's what i am that's what i am I don't wanna be silent. I um, watched the song contest as far as I can remember with my mom because she's she's a fan, and yeah. So this this was you know every year it was just like a must have in our family, and as I recognized and this was actually very late that uh, my hero Celine Dion won Eurovision Song Contest in 1988 the year of my birth. Um, this was just a magical reaction, uh, combination. Don't look like that. Yeah, I'm born 1988. Celine, you're always my age. So. <laughs> <laughs> If I'm not gonna reach the finals, I don't. I don't know what I'm gonna do there. <laughs> I jump on stage and <laughs> grab the trophy. <laughs> well, you, know, you would write history. 